Imagine it's 9 a.m. and you are on your way to your workplace. You arrive at the metro station and see a train leaving the station. Now you have to wait for another 6 minutes for the next crowded train to arrive. And the crowd on the platform increases almost immediately as well. Most office goers using the north-south metro line on Kolkata will relate to this scenario. But what's the solution of this problem? Any rational person will say more frequent services. But the current ETCS signaling system of the blue line doesn't allow trains to operate at a time interval of less than 5 minutes. Besides that, growing ridership and expansion of other the metro lines will make the problem more grave in the future as the blue line is integrated with all other upcoming metro lines of Kolkata Metro. Fast forward to two years from now, 9am in the morning, you are standing at a busy Dom Dom metro station. By just few seconds, you miss your metro. No problem. When you see the train departing, another one follows to pick you up. From 6 minutes, the frequency is down to 90 seconds. Welcome to the new version of Kolkata Metro. At a sanctioned cost of 442.63 crores, the Indian Railways will implement the communication-based train control, world's latest signalling system on Kolkata's 40 years old metro line. The Metro Railway's consideration to upgrade the signalling system to CBTC is the solution to problems like train delays, heavy rush, low frequency and inefficiency due to human error. CBTC will allow trains to operate at a minimum headway of 90 seconds though headway during operations will be limited to 2.5 minutes which will increase efficiency by 30%. At present, Metro operates 288 services on Blue Line which will increase to at least 370 if CBTC is implemented. The implementation of CBTC system will not be only limited between New Gorya and Dokineshwar but also will be implemented between Noapara and Airport on Yellow Line. The groundwork of signalling upgradation is already evident. Crossovers at New Gorya and Taligan stations have already been modified to increase train speed over the turnouts to decrease reversal time of trains at terminal stations. Taligan's car shed is also being upgraded so that it can be used in future to park more trains. Besides, aluminium third rails will soon be laid to increase the third rail efficiency. Aluminium third rails, unlike stainless steel, can serve more trains. And soon, the old Old red color third rail will be replaced with new white color aluminium third rails between Jyotindash Park and Rovindra Sharabha stations. Once this pilot project is successful, the entire line will have aluminium third rails. CBTC will open up the scope for systems like automatic train control, automatic train protection system, train operation and automatic train supervision for which cab signaling systems of each of the 31 rakes are required to be changed. Hopes just rose to new levels as Metro Railway floated a tender to choose a consultant to execute this major change in North-South Metro. The entire signaling system will be upgraded to ultra-modern CBTC that will make operations of Kolkata Metro at per with major metro systems of the world. It will also be implemented in blue and yellow lines with the mention of interoperability of trains. This means that yellow line between Noapara and airport will be integrated with north-south metro and direct trains to airport will be available from Kobishubash via Esplanade or maybe from Dokhineshwar to airport. With this project, Kolkata Metro will be the first metro project of India to be upgraded to CBTC from an old signalling system. This also means that CBTC will allow partial driverless operations on our 40-year-old North-South Metro. There will be no guard at the back of the train to close the doors and everything will be computer controlled. But implementation of such a system is not easy, especially on this line. The blue line is not constructed in a way to host CBTC, so it will be done in phases which is a major hurdle. All trains will have to be gradually upgraded to new CBTC but at the same time should allow non-upgraded trains to run. This means for about two years both old TPWS and new CBTC signaling systems will have to exist together. Trains will be having devices of both TPWS and CBTC on board and retention of TPWS during the implementation of CBTC also suggests delays and disruption of services on the north-south line for many 
many months. Well, CBDC will surely be implemented on the north-south line and with no doubts will change the face of Kolkata Metro. Combined with the other lines coming up around the city, Kolkata Metro will be the only metro rail in India to have its entire network of five lines operating on CBDC. Such an attempt will be done for the first time in India to deal with the heavy rush of passengers. For keeping track of the infrastructure news of India, subscribe to MRB and have a nice day.